The scene is set. Seamus McCormack from Walterstown Club in County Mead, who is here in Connacht for the very first time refereeing a championship match. And it's uh, a very historic occasion indeed for him personally as well. Gary Rua. That ball sliding all the way through as far as John Hanley. Fergal O'Donnell is available. So too is Dennis Gavin. Transferring it over towards this side. Picking up the loose ball is Conor Canale. Going through. First point. Almost on the stroke of the sixth minute of the game. Conor Canale who plays his club football with St. Jude's in Dublin versus a native of uh, Michael Glavies in uh, Ballinlock in County Roscommon. And again, the Mayo uncertainty under the high ball coming in is probably what caused that point. It broke out and Canelli took the score very well. Roscommon, of course, playing with wind advantage, will be hoping to pump that ball in to Jerry Lohan, Nigel Deneen and Frankie Dolan as often as possible. This is very good play by Ross Gomer. Francie Graham setting up John Hanley, stepping aside the challenge of Canelli, and that is gone over the bar. In the space of a minute, Ross Gomer get two points from play, both from half forwards. Canelli first, now Hanley. Noel Canelli again spraying that ball cross field. It was Morris Sheridan. Nice run here by Stephen Trevor Mortimer and he manages to squeeze it over the bar so both Michael Ryan and Seamus O'Neill are back in action Trevor Mortimer Colin McMenamin Pat Fallon plenty of support Kieran McDonald given an awful amount of space For a class forward like Kieran McDonald, Roscommon must be wondering on this occasion where was Francie Graham? James Nallan sweeping the breaking ball from a centre back position. Francie Graham has to go back. Lovely pick up by Marty McNicholas. Nice skill. Can he finish this? That is over the bar. Beautiful to watch, a fresh new talent emerging from the underage ranks. Paul Noon, back to Jerry Lohan. Great defending by Trevor Mortimer. But the pass goes astray from Noel Canelli. Jerry Lohan, referee wisely allows the play to continue. Car is Frankie Dolan. Fine point by Frankie Dolan. Noel Canelli. Ball for the uh, quick kick out. Comes to James Gale. Kieran McDonald is to his left, so too is Trevor Mortimer. Good work by Fancy Graham. Gives it to Fergal O'Donnell. Stephen Lohan pushes away the challenge of Kevin Cowell, and that is over the bar. Jerry Lohan gives it inside to Seamus O'Neill. Hit powerfully, but more importantly, hit accurately. The star of the semi final, the RTE man of the match, in fact, in that uh, memorable game against Galway, puts Roscommon two points in front. Pat Fallon, fine catch, putting it in towards Stephen Carlin, whose jersey was well pulled by John White. It's Kieran McDonald now. Gets away from one challenge. The support is there from McMenamin. He kicks it high and sends it over the bar. It's his first 
in the Connacht final. That man wonders, is it going to be Mayo or Roscommon's day? Fergal O'Donnell. Good work by Kevin Cahill. Well swept up by Pat Fallon. Kieran McDonald. The running off the ball by Morris Sheridan is impressive, but it's uh, too slow of a delivery as Mayo still try to work it at the far side. Kieran McDonald. That's a great point. Frankie Dolan. It's a better ball for him. Cuts inside the Mayo cover. Great running by Dolan. Still Dolan. This is the sort of football we were looking forward to in the Connacht final. They used the long ball, surely. But it again falls to Michael Ryan. Pass was not a good one for Marty McNicholas. Fancy Graham. This is very good play by Roscommon, but they need to finish now. Good ball up towards Gary Cox. Needs the support outside. It's big Seamus O'Neill. Floats it in over the bar. His second point of the day. Level for the sixth time. And good defending by Andy Roach. Alan Roach. Roscommon have it once more. Gary Cox. Inside is John Hanley. There's a chance here. Jerry Lohan. Roscommon have the goal. The big full forward from Kilbride who has been the architect of many attacks for Roscommon, is now the finisher. It has been coming, Marty, for quite a while, but a great piece of interplay and a marvellous finish by Jerry Lohan. But again, the mistake initially was by a Mayo defender giving a short ball and it being intercepted. And interestingly, off camera, David Brady is now warming up again for Mayo. Crossfield ball, knocked down by Michael Moyles to his club mate and county mate, Kieran McDonald. Chance of a point. The lethal left foot ensures that McDonald registers his fourth point of the Connacht final. Roscommon now affected by the same sort of mistakes that Mayo experienced a moment ago. There's a chance here. Michael Moyles coming down on goals. Chance of a goal and Derek Thompson saves. Roscommon will be very happy to just hold possession. Seamus O'Neill, he was too slow. David Brady breaks through. He wants to feed Nestor. It's a chance for Nestor. And it's a goal. We, David Nestor, brings Mayo back into the Connacht Championship and perhaps the lifting of the Nestor Trophy. Since the announcement of four extra minutes, there can't be much left. Well caught by Jonathan Dunning. Three male players converging it. There are plenty of Roscommon players available. One is the point scorer against Galway, Dennis Gavin. Can possibly Roscommon get a goal here? Oh, what a finish! Roscommon on the fifth minute of injury time. Score an incredible winner. Remarkable. Amazing. That is a fantastic goal, a great credit to Roscommon. Michael Ryan from the cornerback position came up and scored that. And if that's the winner, that certainly is deserved. Because they've refused to lie down. This team believed in themselves since John Tobin took it over. It's all over. What a way to win a Connacht Championship. What a dramatic second half. The National Football League champions male have been absolutely shell-shocked at the last kick of the game. Roscommon win the Connacht Championship. Fabulous scenes in Hyde Park. They haven't won the Connacht Championship since 1991. Roscommon, Connacht champions, 2001, for the 19th time in their history. And Fergal O'Donnell, the victorious captain. Great scenes in Roscommon.